Hi, I'm Jason Hobbs. This is example 12 of how I plan and organize a digital marketing strategy. This time for an individual product, a book entitled American Handbook, What Your Grandparents Want You to Know by Marianne Datesman. Now, Marianne wrote a book, which is in its fourth edition, and it was about the six basic American cultural values. And for decades now, ESL students have used it to assimilate themselves into American culture, or at least understand it better, right? So when on the home page of the website, when you click the button, it takes you to the first blog post for chapter one and of this new book. If you click either of the link at the top or bottom of that page, it's going to let you go to the pre-sale page where you can actually purchase the book by adding it to your cart and then proceeding to check out, entering your info. We use Stripe and Secure SSL. So you place your order, it takes you to this success page where it tells you that, hey, we sent you an email to download the first six chapters of the rough draft of this book. The goal of this strategy is to build brand around the American cultural values conversation in order to sell digital versions of American Handbook. Now, the customer point of view is Americans and you know we're looking at people that are interested in understanding american cultural values and sharing them with future generations so typically these are americans that consider american cultural values as part of their family heritage at this point the pressing problem is just frictionless access to an authoritative voice so she wrote the book that's in its fourth edition, no one had written anything for Americans specifically on this subject. The digital marketing plan is that you can buy the book for five bucks during pre-sale, which is up till 3-1 of 2019, at which point it'll be 10 bucks for the book. And she content, she plans to update the book over time because it's part of her life's work. So the access is at vintageamericanwaste.com forward slash share dash American dash cultural dash values. It's a mouthful. We might end up changing that. Again, this is the unresearched initial draft. So I'm sharing it to give you a better idea. Um, this isn't the final plan that we'll be putting in place, though. Uh, we're putting the plan in place for the balance of pre-sale and then the first three months of sale. Now, the idea is that we want to help people easily understand and share American cultural values. We want people to recognize that they view these values as part of their heritage. So she wrote the book to an examine how cultural values have been established and evolved. She also wants to encourage people to pass it along as part of their family heritage. And here are the 12 tentative chapters of the book as of November 1st. And if I understand correctly, today's December 3rd, and they still hold true. But you can see that we have a lot of different topics that are that all fall up under the American cultural values or American traditional values or however you want to put it. Now, the media plan is we want to share American cultural values. And we're focusing on Americans that are interested in understanding and passing along those values. So we're initially focusing on four different audiences to begin with, which will also segment within them as well. But it's grandparents and parents, as well as teachers and ESL learners. And as you can see, her audience thus far, because the book is focused on she was a teacher for many, many years, and you know, ESL learners are the folks that the book is kind of focused on. Obviously, that's you know a larger percentage of our audience at this point. So the show format is we're it's just focused on those six basic American cultural values, and we're starting with blog posts, but we're also going to add an audio podcast by using anchor.fm. And then we're going to add video in the future as well. Now, the show schedule is every other week for the audio. 
and we're doing the 12 different chapters just over we've already put six out and we'll put out probably that well we'll put the next six out probably by the end of february would be my guess maybe earlier we'll just see but we're not doing a, a specific schedule on it we're just releasing them and letting everyone know you know as because she it's her writing process we're not trying to crimp her style i just wanted to be able to let people buy it early as far as the pre-sale and let people kind of read along and get feedback if they had some and you know thoughts and just to start organizing the audience behind this book uh, as early as possible so the ad budget is monthly and uh, the consistency is the key with the media so that's where the the audio podcast starting up comes from is that we're going to have, I want to, I'm setting it up to where we'll record audio directly into anchor.fm and the deliverable will be an audio episode every two weeks is what we're shooting for. And, you know, for instance, with my podcast, I'm able to send that through Anchor FM. I'm able to distribute that to 10 different podcasting platforms all from one place. So the distribution when we do video we'll have wistia and the facebook brand page will be the primary initial parts at some point we will focus more on youtube i'm sure but at least initially it's going to be wistia and the facebook brand page and then we'll also we just opened up an instagram account so we're going to start putting some time and effort into that as well the anchor.fm for audio and the written images you know that's going to go continue to go to the blog which is vintageamericanways.com forward slash blog. Now, the foundation of the strategy is the store, right? You got to have the store for people to be able to buy it. So we're using WooCommerce, managed WooCommerce. It's the $39 beginner plan initially with liquidweb.com. And we're using the Essence Pro theme, which was 130 bucks total. And the digital catalog, we have the Zapier plugin that connects to WooCommerce and allows us to push information when people buy stuff from the WooCommerce store, push it over to, to drift.com, which is where the handles the live chat and email portion. So we're able to put all of these actions, kind of register them or document them on the individual customer timeline uh, within Drift. And then the catalog the initial catalog it's just one product it's that book the pre-sale for american handbook but we're going to add to that over time a couple of things that are going to change now that we're updating the strategy which and it's mainly going to play out on the home page because we're going to dedicate the home page to the topics of you know the six basic american values because that's the driver for the blog post all those chapters blog post about the different chapters of the book and the book itself. Now, the customer conversation, two ears, one mouth, we're trying to listen as much as possible. We're just trying to engage engagement, I guess is the best way to put it. Like we want to look at people in, you know, we want to hear people talk about the subject and share their thoughts. And we want a civil discourse, obviously. So the inbound, we're focusing on email. It's probably the main thing, but we're also, we're including live chat and we'll, where we deploy that and how we deploy that will be, it's going to organically iterate over time at least initially we're just putting it out there to cast a wide net and they don't have to be logged in or anything just so we're using it almost as a way to introduce ourselves so the outbound stuff we're starting with those 12 blog posts we're we're we already have the email list that we'll continue to talk to as we you know and with that we're just talking to them about the different stuff around the american cultural values right and then we're adding the audio podcast sometime in december as soon as possible now the campaigns get attention we're going to start with the book's genesis i want to tell the origin story in be able to couple that story along with the 12 different chapter blog posts and the keep attention, we're going to do a remarketing campaign. And what it's focused on, we have the Facebook pixel that's installed on the website. And as far as the store or whatever, vintageamericanways.com. 
And so we're building an audience of people knowing who has visited each of the different pages, your blog posts, so to speak, for these different chapters, right? So we have six already and we're able to say, okay, you know, have it, have they seen all six? Have they seen two or three or are they in the top 25% of people that have viewed the different pages as far as the amount of time? So we're able to, we'll slice that up going forward, but we're tracking it already, right? And we know that also we want to make the offer not just as a cold thing, even though it's only five bucks for the pre-sale. I mean, we could probably get away with it some, and we'll probably do a little testing with it. But the main thing is we really want to focus on the brand right? Because they've been building this brand for decades. It's just their digital version has really started to, well, it got online probably four or five years ago, and it's really started to kind of flourish over the last couple of years. So that's example number 12. They're in Bowling Green, Kentucky. If you were to do this, here are, I think all of these, yeah, Envira Gallery would definitely be involved with these guys as well. Absolutely. Uh, the Wistia, same thing we're using it as far as for the videos that we do have. She's done some on like five different topics and they get really good play. And then Drift, we're using it, the Managed with Commerce. So we don't have Gather Up going for her yet, but we do have the yo star ready and i have soapbox the next one is number 13 i'm going to do my first product i'm going to do another product one specifically and it's going to be for my documenting your digital marketing strategy product so and i'm using woocommerce it's the same i'm using the same tools and all for that as well so if you have questions or whatever jason at jasonopsllc.com or if you want to reach me on my cell it's 912 381-6318.